Good morning. It's 5 a.m. And I don't know if you can tell, but I really don't like being up this early. The only reason I'm up this early is because if I'm going to get anything productive done today, I got to get the most important tasks done before work. Today is this video. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. sound right boy what's up y'all and welcome back to the richest steve in atlanta today we're talking about how to be more productive by scheduling out your day and make sure to stick around to the end because i will literally be walking y'all through my entire weekday schedule today now let's get this out of the way most people today are walking around like chickens with our heads cut off trying to accomplish task after task while really never getting anything done because of all the thousands of choices and distractions we face every day. I know this used to be me trying to juggle YouTube, work, dating, and just enjoying my life. I really couldn't handle all the tasks I had to do in a day. This is the most important reason why you need a schedule. Your schedule will provide structure in your life. By planning out every task that you have in a day, you're able to now focus on one at a time. You will start completing your tasks more quickly and more effectively than you were when you didn't have a schedule and your overall productivity will go up. Anyway, the next thing on my schedule is the gym. So let's go. All right, that was a great workout. So now, pro tip number one, work into your schedule. There are some things that can be done at the same time as others. And for this reason, you can work them into your schedule and not plan for them. For example, when it comes to reading or listening to podcasts, I usually do these while I'm working out or driving to and from work. Speaking of work, let me get ready before I'm late. All right, y'all, it's been a long day. You can tell by this helmet here, but I'm happy to be off. So let me give y'all pro tip number two, plan out more time. Always plan out more time than you think it will take you to complete a task. When most people are creating their schedule, they don't take into account everything that it really takes to complete that task. For example, I have worked from eight to five, but what about getting to and from work? So always make sure that you add a little bit more time into your schedule. 
Now let me get to the crib so I can give y'all pro tip number three. Use rhythm to your advantage. Most people have something that they do every day and that's called having rhythm, like having a job or working out. So most days you'll have the same repeating structure for your schedule. Wake up, do something productive. Go to your job, do something productive. Have some free time, go to bed. Then you do it all over again the next day, every single day, every single week, Monday through Friday. Now you have rhythm and making your schedule be as easy as one, two, three. When it comes to creating my schedule, I block it out exactly how I just explained it to you using the natural rhythm of my day. Now here's the switch up. When it comes to my productivity slots, I can prioritize different tasks. For example, today I'm using my productivity time slot from six to eight to bring you this YouTube video. Then tomorrow morning, I'll use that productivity time slot to edit the video, which means in my evening time slot, to be productive, I'll be working out. Either way, I'ma get something productive done. We finally reached the last part of my day, which is also my favorite part of the day, my free time. But I also use this as my reaction time. You never know what can happen throughout your day. You may have an emergency, you may have a spontaneous activity that you wanna attend, this is the time for you to get back on track. My coworkers love randomly deciding, let's go get dinner or let's go do something fun, but it's not in my schedule, so I can't go. Or I have my reaction time. I can still get everything done. I just push it back an hour, go enjoy myself, and keep everything on track. Anyways, it's my bedtime. So if you made it this far, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Overall, having a schedule will help you organize your day, allowing you to use your time in a more effective way. But before we go, promise me this one thing. You'll use this weekend to create your schedule and be more productive. Peace, love, and riches. I'm out.